Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can develop Neutral Node.js applications using React uh, Frontend Library. This is uh, my example project uh, that I created. Uh, inside this uh, list directory I uh, added all the binaries, uh, I compiled all the binaries. Now I am going to show you the application I created. This is very uh, simple Python editor program. So I just opened the Linux binary. So this is uh, the application I created. In the left side uh, we have the code editor with uh, syntax highlighting. And in the right side we have the input box, standard input box and the output box. And uh, the run button. This button will execute uh, the code in the left side and it will produce the output. Let's run uh, the sample program. It will simply uh, show the hello world. And this will display some error, uh, errors as well. Let's say we did uh, some mistake here. Instead of print, let's say we type another word. Additional T. If we run the application, the program, we can see the issue here. Then we can correct it. And run it again. And we can provide uh, inputs as well. We can simply test with the input method in python i am trying with the python tree uh, version uh, i am going to provide uh, some input here i am going to run the sample program now we can see the input as well i am going to change the input now we can see the, the input i entered here now we can check about the file structure of the project and also the modifications I did in order to integrate both React.js and Neutron.js projects together. Now I am going to open the project source. So very first I created the initial application structure using the new CLI. Then after that I created the react.js project uh, using uh, create react app CLI into this uh, directory. Then I did uh, some modifications uh, to integrate uh, both projects. First I did some modifications inside uh, this package.json. I changed the build command. After building the react.js project I moved all the static uh, files into this uh, resources directory. Because I am using this uh, directory. Uh, in my config neutrino.config.json file like this then after that uh, I change the home page uh, property as well into the resources directory the resources path so this is equals to the the property in uh, neutrino.configs uh, this property URL property because initially I am loading the resources uh, directory's contents after that I placed neutrino.js this uh, client source into this uh, public directory of the react.js project then I used it in uh, index.html like that so when you are developing the application uh, you can run a new listen command in order to open the application with the reloading feature the auto reloading feature but first uh, you need to modify this uh, config file uh, to enable the dev tools you need to edit this property you need to set this one into true so this will automatically open the developer tools uh, window for you when you are opening the application so let's use a new listen command now here we have the application with the dev tools environment as well now when you are developing the project uh, you can develop this uh, react.js project as a separate uh, project you can use uh, uh, their development server to test and uh, uh, continuously develop the application once you are ready to test the application in this native window you can enter the build command like this so this will automatically build the uh, react.js source and uh, it will produce uh, static files into the resources directory so once the build process uh, has completed uh, the application will be reloaded automatically 
then you can test the feature you implemented earlier so if we are going to release the application you need to disable that uh, dev tools property because we don't need dev tools in the release application so you can uh, simply set this one to false then you can uh, simply use a new build command in order to create release binaries new build and inside this uh, disk directory it will produce all the uh, binaries so this is the application we created earlier now we can check about the application source code as well I'm going to open the application source code as I mentioned earlier all the new Terino JS related content were added into the root directory of the whole application project and inside this uh, directory I added all the react.js related content basically the react.js project is added into this uh, directory I'm going to explain a little bit about this uh, react.js project now I added all the stylings into this uh, app.css uh, file and also to this index.css uh, file as you can see all the stylings uh, were added into this uh, app.css and some uh, global stylings were added into this uh, index.css as well and I implemented the application logic inside this app.js file and I used uh, one separate uh, class to handle the code execution the python code execution first we can uh, look into this uh, app.js file here we have the application structure in the left side we have uh, the code editor with syntax highlighting for that I used uh, an external library so that external library uh, provides uh, a react component that can be used as the text editor with uh, syntax highlighting for the syntax highlighting I used a python uh, language then some uh, stylings to handle the height uh, properly and in the right side of the application we have uh, three main things first thing is the ap application uh, input uh, what we are going to provide into our python code basically so this text area is uh, responsible for uh, handling the input uh, for the current uh, python uh, code and uh, right after that we have the run button so this button will uh, properly handle the code execution this will trigger the code execution and, and it will produce uh, the output uh, into this uh, text area so importantly this output text area is uh, a read only text area because we just need to see the output we don't need to modify the output uh, of the program that we coded using this uh, python code editor first of all we are instantiating this uh, uh, class I mentioned after that I used a use state hook to uh, get uh, code output and input uh, variables working properly after that uh, we have the run code method uh, that is triggered uh, from uh, run code button uh, in this uh, location it will basically call this uh, separate class I mentioned earlier then it will uh, provide the input and code to that separate class and it will uh, get the output of the uh, python code then it will set the output then we can see the output of the program uh, from this text area in the front end of the application so inside this uh, separate class we are using uh, several native api calls very first uh, we are creating a code.py file by using the code content which is uh, provided uh, via this uh, options object now we have the code uh, the python code that we entered inside this file right after that uh, we are creating input.txt by using the current input of uh, for the application it is also uh, taken from uh, this uh, options object options.input 
after that we are constructing a, a command that need to be executed using uh, this uh, native API code os.exec command so in the command construction we are using one global variable so that is defined in uh, neutrino config file as usual this is basically the python executable name So now we have the python executable name and we are providing the uh, argument here code.py that is basically the uh, source code file uh, that need to be executed and uh, here we are providing the standard input like that because we have the uh, input for the, for the program inside this input.txt because uh, earlier we created it with the current input for the program after that we are going to write all the output of this uh, line into output.txt file likewise we constructed the command string now we are going to execute it after executing this uh, command uh, importantly we have the output.txt with the output of the python uh, code you wrote earlier now we need to read the uh, file in order to get the output of the program right now we are going to read the file as usual using this uh, native API call. Now we have the output of the program. Now uh, we can return it uh, simply from this method. So going back to this app.js. So it is basically calling that method uh, by providing input and code. And this method will simply return the output of the program. Then this uh, set output handler will uh, set the output uh, of the program and then it will uh, then the front end will uh, automatically updated with the output so this is how you can create your neo.js applications using react.js front end library see you in next video